All right, guys, so um, I'm basically being attacked right now, and I, I guess I deserve it in some ways. Um, during Ryder, made a video basically calling me out saying that I was fat, calling me a fake vegan. I mean, I wish we could get over this fake vegan shit because that is like so 2016. I mean, I got to be honest with you. There's nothing original about it. Um, everybody knows that. Harley's a fake vegan, Freely's a fake vegan, Raw Vana's a fake vegan, Raw Alignment's a fake vegan, Unnatural Vegan is a fake vegan. I mean, every single one of them turned out to be fake fucking vegans. So, I mean, I wish we could just let that term rest. But, I mean, as far as the accusations that I'm fat or whatever, listen, he's right. Okay, he's right. I think Freely mentioned this somewhere too, but they're right. Okay, I am fat. I've gotten fat. Uh, especially since I kind of went off course with the vegan diet, you know, started eating a lot of feta cheese, started eating crab ragoons and crunch wraps from Taco Bell. <sighs> I want one of those so bad. I might actually do a crunch wrap mukbang, uh, this week, or I will try. Uh, so yeah, am I fat? I mean, yes, I am fat. I, I've gotten fat. I've, I, I wouldn't say I'm fat, but I've lost my, I've lost my aesthetic. I've definitely lost my aesthetic and, uh, you know, there's nothing I can do about it except get back on the vegan diet. Now, as far as like, I mean, he was trying to basically say that I don't get pussy or anything because I'm fat. Listen, we could probably count on three fingers the amount of girls Harley has had. I could literally count them on all three. I, Freely, I think he lost his virginity to Freely. Then there was Tori and now he's got the Indian chick. What's her name? Natasha, I think that's her name, three fucking chicks that he's been with, right, throughout his entire life, and he's claiming that I don't get pussy because I'm fat, I've had like 30 times the amount of women that Harley has, and he's like six feet tall, and he's lean, but I mean, he's got fake teeth, there's a lot of, you know, he's got, he's taken a lot of substances, I mean, I have too, but, um, yeah, I mean, let's not even go there. Let's just not even go there, dude, because, you know, the, uh, first of all, the, the, the quality that we're talking about here, you don't have the quantity. I have the quality and the quantity. I mean, it would literally take me about four fucking pairs of hands to count all the women that I've been with. I, I've probably been with, I don't know, 15 women in the past couple of years. How many women has Harley been with his entire life? Three. And listen, if he's a one woman man, that, that's look, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if he's a one woman man, he's may as well try to reverse that vasectomy and, you know, pop out a couple of kids. I don't know how that's going for high carb Hannah and Derek these days. Uh, to my knowledge, they still have not been able to fix that. But this is why you shouldn't listen to people like Harley or Derek or Vegan Gains uh, because all of these guys end up regretting, you know, chopping off their manhood. Every single man's going to regret it. Just like a lot of the transitioners end up regretting it after they're teenagers because they were talked into it by, you know, doctors and radical leftists and stuff and their parents who happen to be Democrat voters. Um, it's the same kind of similar situation. Every guy, I, I mean, what about, um, remember that vegan couple? Whatever happened to them? They disappeared. They made a Facebook post basically just saying that, uh, you know, that they uh, were giving up social media. I mean, remember all of these guys were so hyped about their vasectomies, about their social media. They were so hyped about uh, uh, ragging on vegan cheetah, you know. And yeah, I've gotten fat, but at least I'm still trying to be vegan. At least I'm not hiding in Thailand somewhere off of social media. And uh, at least I didn't fucking chop off my manhood like half of these dudes did. I mean, can we even call these real men? Like, if you got a vasectomy, are you even a man anymore? I mean, that is like, that's borderline starting to, you're, you're in the transitional zone, right? Harley is in the transitional zone. I think that's why he's taken on this sort of feminine appearance in some ways. But I mean, it, you know, I'm only saying this because, uh, you know, these people are calling me out first. You know, making videos saying that I'm fat. Like, I get on here and I open up. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm telling everybody about my struggles with feta cheese and crab ragoons and crunch wraps. And then these motherfuckers are calling me fat. 
I've already called myself fat, so you can't like you you're not you're you're not getting away with anything. I've already admitted that I'm fat, right? And there's stuff that I can do about it. I ran 6.66 miles the other day. Uh, I'm gonna continue to try to keep up with the uh, the cardio routine. Um, but yeah, I definitely get more pussy than Harley has uh, ever even dreamed about. And, um, you know, th there's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not hating on the guy for that, but you know, he's claiming that I'm fat and I don't get pussy. Well, you know, this guy lost his virginity to fucking, you know, freely when he was 33 years old. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. I've got to do a catering gig today. I'm actually late for the catering gig right now. Uh, but I, guys, I I hate working. I really do. I hate working, but I'm going to go cater. It's a, a big pharmaceutical event. I guess these pharmaceutical reps are like selling something to some doctor's office. So I, I don't know, but I'll, I'll take some footage of it uh, on my Instagram. You guys can see what I'm up to. And with that, I will see you on the next video.